Good morning. Welcome to another new week. A little bit of a grey start to the week, if I'm honest. Weather-wise, not mood-wise. If it sounds like there is a pig searching for truffles, it's actually just my child. She's asleep. Oh, apparently she's not. She's just a little bit whingy this morning, but she's okay. Last night, last night was actually quite a good night. She woke up every two to three hours. We kind of like knew what she wanted. Bish bash bosh, did the thing. She settled again. Come on, my gorgeous. Look how cute this little um, sleep suit. Oh, excuse me, punch me in the face. Little sleep suit is. We got a lot of these from H&M. They're good as well because they've got zips on the front. Oh, good morning to the people. There we go. Oh, you can see now you're nice and cosy and comfy, aren't you? Yeah, you are. As I was saying, she was pretty good overnight. I don't want to use the words good or bad because I saw a TikTok that was like, if my baby is up in the night, does that mean she's bad? Because she's a baby, she doesn't, she doesn't know. Um, so I'm going to rephrase that. She was pretty chilled during the night. So that was nice. It meant that we're kind of starting Monday off feeling like relatively refreshed. Today is not a very busy day. We have got a couple of errands to run. And that's it. One thing I am definitely focusing on this week, and I'm saying it in this vlog to hold myself accountable. During my pregnancy, I pretty much ate anything that I craved because I was growing a human. I'm naturally quite healthy anyway, but I definitely was like, I want that, I'm gonna have it because I found pregnancy quite tough, to be honest. And it was something that kind of gave, brought me joy, like eating, eating certain foods. However, it was things like half a pack of biscuits in the morning. Yeah, I'd have a cup of tea and a good six or seven chocolate digestives. So this week I am stopping that. I'm back on my lemon and ginger with hot water and honey. That's the first thing. And I've just had a bowl of porridge with some berries. And I'm really, this week, I really wanna focus on just eating a little bit more mindfully for me. So you could see it as a what I eat in a day, but kind of what I eat in a week. But I'm not going to be going into detail with everything. That's the plan for this week. And also to maybe, maybe do some very, very gentle exercise at home. Very gentle. Because it has only been around four weeks since she entered the world. So we're still very, very early on. Anyway, Sunny just got the shower. I need to go in the shower. We've got things to do today. But... Hello, it's a new week. Welcome to a new vlog. She says welcome to a new vlog too. Big day today. She's wearing jeans. They're a little bit tight still. So I have to really like hold them out here. I might even when we're in the car undo the button. But, and then they don't sit where I want them to. I want them to sit a little bit lower. But she's wearing jeans. And this is a big personal achievement for me because one thing that I've really been struggling with since giving birth is not, be able, not being able to wear the clothes that I feel best in and that I feel good in. And jeans is obviously a big one. Jeans is like, I feel like most people's day-to-day -day uniform and I haven't been able to wear it. I've had to wear like either leggings or just like super stretchy pants or things that come like all the way up here, just so there's no like pressure still on my belly, which obviously even though I'm not pregnant anymore, takes a while for your belly to go down. If anyone didn't know that, it doesn't you don't just have a baby and you're just like back to what you were pre-pregnancy. You've got like kind of squidgy, you've got a squidgy belly for a bit. Today she's wearing a vest top, which was also pre-pregnancy, and jeans. This whole outfit is pre-pregnancy, other than the high-waisted knickers that I'm still wearing. That's more just for comfort than anything else. What a brilliant day. Yes, I'm running late. Yes, Sunny's waiting for me downstairs, but I'm wearing jeans. Now we can go out. We're celebrating. You're celebrating. <laughs> I'm so, scarred. <laughs> so you know how earlier I said that Mia was just a little bit um, congested. She had a little bit of wind. She just had a little bit, you know, she's a little bit blocked up. Well, she's not blocked up anymore. We went to go and register at a uh, new doctor's surgery in the back of the car we just heard this uh it's like you just know the sound now don't you you just know it well yeah it's the sound of poo you can smell it can you still smell it and we're not going to be that couple are we that <laughs> smells of baby poo all the time oh bless her it it's gone everywhere it, it it's gone everywhere and um, to the person that 
told me that Pampers means you don't get punamis, you, the, the baby can still do a punami and if it is explosive enough, it will reach places it's not meant to reach. For the sake of the Pampers deal, <laughs> I love them. I think they're great. Yeah, no, Nick, me neither. <laughs> Anyway, now we're celebrating because Mia did a poop and now we're carrying on and going to Tesco's. I actually don't know what we're getting because you've hid the list from me. Not a hidden list from you me. You have, it's not in our usual notes oh. where it's meant to be. We have shared notes that we would put all of our like, oh we need to get this at a food shop, that at a food shop, like somewhere else in a, in a different app. No, it's okay. because we've been getting home deliveries. So you've basically been building a basket without me? Yeah. Oh, sucks to be here, doesn't it? <laughs> HelloFresh things. I know lots of people do ads on them. This isn't an ad. We, we paid for it. We bought it. We ordered it. We did get a little discount though because my parents used it and they get like one of those like referral codes. So actually, I think it worked out like four meals for the week at like £12. So it was really good value. Um, and one of our meals are pork and apple burgers. Gonna be honest, not that excited about this one. Um, we didn't get to choose, well, we could have chosen them but we left it too late and then we were just given. Oh, that should have gone in the fridge. Okay, well that's gone off. Talk to me And tell me all that you've seen And all the colours Sorry, can I just say so myself? Yeah, I know. I think that looks alright. Yeah, I know. I made a makeshift little salad. But these look pretty good. Crunchy. You want some, Mia? Are you a bit milk drunk? Okay, well you have a little nappy nap, we can have our dinner. <laughs> so today is another day at home for me. For us, me and Mia. She's just chilling down here in a little Moses basket, which has been probably one of the best things that we got. We were talking about this earlier, like what have been the most useful and for us, least useful items. I might do another video on that actually, because it's really interesting. They're things that you think you're gonna use loads, but you then end up like they're kind of more novelty things. But whilst I've got some time, got a little Zara delivery, didn't I? So this Sunday, we are hosting a little, very, very small gathering in our garden. Um, it's the first time that friends would have come to see the house since we've moved in. Um, we've got our families here and it's also the first time that some of our friends are meeting Mia. So it's kind of like a little sip and see, which is a phrase that I picked up from one of my American friends. Sip a drink and see the baby. So it's a sip and see, but it's also the day before my birthday. My birthday is next Monday. Um, and it's the first thing that we're obviously doing since having Mia and I naturally needed something new to wear. During pregnancy, I think I said it so many times. I really struggled with dressing and finding how I could still stick to the style that I like but obviously make it pregnancy or maternity friendly in terms of comfort and obviously like materials and stuff. I'm very much a low jean and like a a slightly cropped vest top kind of girl. Hold that thought. As I was saying, yeah I just struggled a little bit during pregnancy um, and for Christmas when, when my mum or Sunny's mum was asking what to get me, I just said, you know what? I am really looking forward to post-pregnancy, just refreshing my wardrobe, getting some new bits, seeing if my style has maybe changed or evolved. And obviously my body would have changed and kind of dressing for the new me. So they got me some vouchers. I thought this was the perfect opportunity to use those vouchers um, and look for some bits potentially to wear on Sunday for a garden party but also just to kind of try out maybe some styles that I would never normally have tried before things that I am interested in just to see so that's what I'm going to do right now right. 
I actually can't remember exactly what I ordered because I did an order on Zara and an order on Mango all at like, the same time. I just went a little bit feral. Oh, so I'm going to try these dresses. This one I really love. Well, I'm not really sure what I meant to wear underneath it because obviously I can't really wear a bra with this. I'm going to try it on and we're going we're gonna to see how we get on. Okay, we're not off to a great start. This is just, no. I mean, I haven't even bothered taking my sports bra off because first of all, it's too small. Evidently, I'm not the size that I thought I was. I don't think it's very flattering. This is meant to do up here. I think I need to get a bigger size, but even if I had have done, I wanted it to be one of those like cute, casual day dresses. I could maybe put the big white oversized shirt over the top. I mean, as we can see, there is still the reminder of pregnancy here. Which is okay, I'm not I'm not mad at that. But this is just a no, so I'm not even gonna bother trying this one. But it was really cute on the website. Okay, we've improved slightly, but still not quite there. This is cute, but again, far too small. I ordered my pre-pregnancy size and my entire body has has grown. Like this is not even close to doing up. But I actually really like this. Interesting take on a LBD. It's got these little like, bow details here. Again, not really sure about the bra frontage. We'll figure it out. And then over the top of this, I might as well try the shirt. I just feel like all the oversized shirts I've got, they're just not quite right. Is this oversized enough? Oh, it's got buttons up the side. I didn't realize that also I can give it like floaty floaty. And I'm not really sure about if I love this enough. I've got an oversized shirt from H&M that I love even more, this blue one. This is what I want, just in a white. So I'm going to go on the H&M website and search on there instead for oversized shirts. So I think I'm also going to send this one back, which means I'll probably also send the pink one back. So out of this order, I'm sending everything back. I've got another Hello Fresh box. Last week we didn't quite get the uh, recipes that we wanted because we were too late in changing them. But this week, I remember one of them that we got, but I can't remember any of the others. So. Just a little unboxing. Ooh. Ah, me, want to eat healthy. Also me, ultimate butter chicken and buttery naan. <laughs> Probably not the healthiest, but you know what? Girls got to eat. I said that looks really cute. Oh. Mainly her though. So you got the sleep schedule down. To a T. <laughs> to an absolute T. You test me, I'll know. Okay, so when do we give Full her fade. <laughs> At some point she'll sleep throughout the night. Not yet though. Not anytime soon. No. <laughs> dinner and now Sonny's gone to work and for some reason I feel really anxious tonight. I feel like I'm fine with obviously Sonny being at work in the evenings and I know that I can look after her and everything but I think there's that innate fear now that like what if something goes wrong or what if what if she's not okay or I guess it's just something that the longer that like it goes of like looking after her and stuff the more used to it I'll get obviously it's still like very new and also like she's not communicative at all other than crying she's so precious I just want to make sure that she's okay and I know that that sounds ridiculous because it's like kind of stating the obvious but I, I just I just want her to be okay all the time and and also like know that I'm doing my best I am like we really are doing our best but also we are kind of figuring this out like as we go along. Anyway, my mum's gonna come round because she, she literally is down the road and I'm gonna 
chill with her, chat with her and get a nice early night. So I will, we will see you tomorrow. Good night. Oh, I have woken up today feeling so much better. Yesterday I was in a real funk. I couldn't shake it and I let it get the better of me. But I'm glad that I spoke to my mum, glad I spoke to Sunny. My mum came round when Sunny was at work and we just had a nice, nice chat. There was nothing in particular that was wrong or that had happened and I guess this is just part of learning about not even just being a mum because I just feel like actually I could have had a day like yesterday even if I wasn't a new mum. You know, I didn't have the hormones. The hormones probably didn't help, if I'm honest. Um, but yeah, I explain it to Sunny by saying, like, my brain just isn't being very nice to me. And I feel like yesterday, it wasn't being very nice to me. And I need to override it. And thoughts are not things, they're just thoughts. Like, they're literally just thoughts. It doesn't mean that they're real or they're true. But today, I've woken up feeling so much better, despite not having that much sleep. Throughout the night, Mia was just a little bit like uncomfortable last night, I think. I think we had a rough plan in place and it all just kind of went apart. <laughs> um, so we're feeling a little bit tired today, but I was up early. It actually felt good just to like do some bits on my laptop from bed. Um, and now we are actually already starting to prepare the house for Sunday's little garden gathering, a little sip and see. So Sunny, I think, has got the lawnmower out. Hi, it's Thursday. It's nearly 4pm on a Thursday. I do not know how people... A few things. I don't know how people look after a baby when it's just them by themselves. I don't know how people look after a baby whether it's by themselves with a and other um and also manage to do anything else like for example a vlog because today i have been truly humbled by the fact that my child is absolutely rightfully demanding all of my time and i almost think that actually if i'd had time to come on here do my makeup do this do that have a lovely long chat with you um, then I would probably be concerned as to actually how chill she is. Don't get me wrong, she is very chill and she slept for a lot of the day. But Sunny went out quite early this morning and I was by myself with her, which I actually think is the first time I have been by myself like during the day with her. I've only obviously experienced evenings. And yeah, you can't get anything done. And it's not that Mia is difficult at all because she's really not. But obviously, by the time I've like fed her, burped her, settled her, then she's asleep. She might sleep for like 30, 45 minutes. Like it's not a really long period of time. But obviously, like if I'm on one of the floors with her, if I need to go like upstairs and then I'm like, well, I'm going to be upstairs for a bit, I have to take her with me. So it's like, it's a whole thing of like, do I take her and the Moses basket and then put the, it's just a lot. So I've been avoiding, like obviously moving her around too much, but then it means I'm kind of like sitting, not really being able to do much or like making a cup of tea. Basically, it's just been a lot. So today's section of this vlog is minimal. Um, Sunny is now home and he is chilling out on the sofa because he is absolutely exhausted. I really feel for him getting up early when he's got home quite late after obviously being at work. I haven't really stuck to keeping you up to date with um, how the whole eating thing has gone this week. However, I have been sticking to it. Every morning I've been having a lemon, fresh lemon, fresh ginger in hot water with some honey. Today I had some porridge with berries and I've been adding a little bit of um, faye yogurt, which I think is like Greek natural yogurt I don't know but I've been adding a bit of yogurt in there as well for a bit of extra protein um, and I've also been having some crumpets with avocado smoked salmon and cream cheese for like lunch like a lunch and snack um, and then we're still going with our HelloFresh which is making life so much easier 
because by the time we get to dinner, neither of us can be bothered to cook. I feel like maybe next week's video will be just a, like what I eat in a day or maybe a few days or a week. I don't know, let me know what you would like. I think maybe a week might be a little bit of a challenge, but I'm thinking I really wanna focus one on kind of my food choices because I've actually discovered some some new like things that I really love eating because I'm a creature of habit and I would always just stick to the same thing over and over again. But I also really, really, really want to hopefully be able to share some of Sunday with you, which is when we've got people coming around for our little sip and see to meet Mia and also a little early birthday celebration for me. So I'm gonna leave this week's vlog here because I just know that tomorrow I'm getting a blow dry and I'm just gonna be like, we're gonna be like sorting the house out. It's gonna be very, very mundane. And then I'm gonna try and pick up the camera back up on Sunday, film a little bit of the little garden party, hopefully with nice weather. I feel like I'm delirious because I haven't had that much sleep. And I'm so sorry if this video has been extremely boring, but hey, do you know what? That's the reality. Not every single vlog is gonna be exciting and anyone whose vlogs is that exciting, they're, they're lying to you. That's not the reality of life. So this is a reality. Sometimes it's great, sometimes it's absolute. But hey, hey, we move, we carry on. We need to fake tan because this is, this is an issue. I'm sending you lots of love. Thank you so much for watching. And I promise you another video in the future will be a little more entertaining. Bye.